<clears throat> Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the somewhat about concept about the streams concept. So, what is this streams? So we do, we have we have understood that the fetch API, so which are we have seen the fetch API returns the stream. Okay, it returns the stream. So it returns the data. Okay, it returns the data, which is a stream actually, which is a stream. And that one is called as a readable stream. So it is called as a readable stream. Readable stream. So the fetch API returns the stream. So now before continuing into uh, to this one, we need to understand about the stream concept. So I will give you a basic overview about this stream concept. So it's a very vast thing, but we'll have a just basic overview of the stream concept. So now, in order to understand what is the stream, so what is the stream is so normally fetch api in the olden days doesn't have the concept of streams okay the data is not delivered as a stream so now if you try to see a youtube video or any buffer video or any image loading so you'll be able to see chunks of the video is loaded so previously in the olden days if you want to see a video you need to download the video first and you need to check and you need to see that video so that means you need to completely download the video and you need to see Whereas in the coming days, so the data is transferred as a stream, which increases the performance. And if you see the example with the YouTube video, you'll be able to see the chunks of the stream data will be uh, bytes will be loaded so that you can see the video without fully downloaded. So that is the benefit of the stream. So the fetch API advantage is it uses the streams concept. So now we have seen we have used the dot json method or we have the dot text method or dot blob which you, which we can retrieve through the stream uh, image for the image so these all things we will see afterwards but these are the different types of methods it is there but normally without using this one how we can read the stream okay so using this readable stream how we can read it let's try to see in this video so this is overall about the stream concept so streams are nothing but a chunks of data instead of passing the entire data over the network it will pass the chunks of data in the network this increases the performance the examples are like image loading and also the video buffering and all those things is done by the using the streams so this is the concept let's try to see about the fetch how we can simply how we can read the stream data in the fetch api let's see <clears throat> so here i am having this url okay this fetch url and let's take <clears throat> a function get stream or anything so i am trying to use one method get stream and we need to call this one right get stream so i'm calling this method so it's a spelling mistake yeah, here also the function name also i'm trying so first call the fetch request okay so here or otherwise what i can do is or otherwise instead of calling the function let fetch is equal to so fetch api and url i'm calling okay so let's try to see <coughs> If you see here, I will refresh this page, fetch cannot access fetch before initialization. Okay, fine. Fetch data. We'll try to use this one, fetch data. Okay. So let's save this one and we'll see the output. So oh, fine. Okay. So is that that one is a reserved keyword? We should not use it as a variable. So let's see about the fetch data. So this is a promise is fulfilled. <coughs> It's a promise we got the promise and this promise we know about the response and the body is a readable stream we need to read the body okay let's go here and here we got the response dot then of response okay and here what i can do so let's uh, <clears throat> uh, console dot log let's console dot log of what is that one uh, response dot body okay so this is the response dot body now if you try to see here so we got the readable stream so we got the readable stream and if you try to see here we have a method get reader we have a method like pipe through we'll see about this pipe through also so this is a get reader method we are able to have a get reader method so when you want to read this readable stream so we need to use the get reader method okay let's try to use this get reader method so i am using get reader method it will read the stream so let's see what will happen if you try to see when you use this reader uh, get reader method the written type for this one is the readable stream default reader reader 
so this one you need to have a readable stream readable reader and in this one you'll be having a read method so here you'll be having a read method and you need to use this method read so for this one to read so get reader dot read okay so now we have read it let's see what will happen so when you try to see here we got a promise which is in a pending state okay so let return this promise or otherwise what i will try to do is let's return this promise and here let's see what will happen now here if i try to see i am trying to check with the fetch data okay we got a promise fulfilled and we'll be able to see which is having a value and a done so this one is from, from the read data which is writing a promise i am writing the promise right so now if you try to see here we are having a done and a value two methods two properties are available okay let's try to take those two properties dot then and here i am using the the array destructing <clears throat> and here what i can do value comma done so here i can use something like this so now let's console dot log of value let's console dot log of value so now i am doing console dot log of value if you try to see so this is the stream data if you try to see here now we have did now we have read the stream so we got the stream but the stream what what the, but the data what we have got from the network is unable to read so we are not able to understand this is this one has written the bytes of data so this is the bytes of data which has been received from the network so in order to convert this one we need to decode it okay it has been encoded we need to decode it by you by in order to decode this stream so what you need to do is you need to use a text decoder api so that is a text decoder api which is provided by the browser itself so for this one let's say let's we can use let's text decoder sorry i'm using text decoder is equal to new text decoder and the data which we have rec received is a utf8 format so if you want you can mention it by default if you don't mention it also it is a utf8 only so we got the text decoder now we need to decode this value so now that means text decoder dot decode of and we need to send the value that's it so now if you send the value and if you try to see here let's console this one okay let's console this one or otherwise we can do the fetch data also not a problem fetch data okay, this one is coming form is fulfilled and let's console this one or otherwise you'll console this text decoder dot value okay now here if you try to see see now we are able to get the html data that two also that two also we have got only some part of data only the chunk part only we have got it why because the done the done if you try to see the done done is not at over it so here if you try to see the done is false i try to show you output at the top so you will be able to get the done is false so that means it still receive the stream of data we got a one part one particular part of stream and we have converted it like this so like this we can get it you want to use this one so you can use this json placeholder i am replacing this one okay now this time so for example if i try to see the output here so now this is the json data so this is the complete json data what we have got it okay so like this we'll wear so now here this is the total json data which we have got it so like this we can we can able to <clears throat> decode the stream of data so like this so this is somewhat advanced concept but just i want to explain you so what is this fetch api and how this stream works so like this so for example let's say that i have take i have taken only one chunk of data and i have converted it to this one so if you are having multiple chunks of data how i can take those all multiple chunks of data and how can i decode it that one means we can use the concept pipe through and we need to loop over to need to get the all chunks of data until this done is true so when this done is true means we have received all the chunks of data and we can decode it so let's try to see it in the next video how we can do this all the chunks of data now we have taken only one chunk of data and we have read it read returns a promise and we have decoded that single value so now if another chunk of value is there means so we need to again read that value and we need to decode it so like this we need to decode it one by one one by one by one chunks of data so how to decode that one means we need to do the while loop using the pipe through method i will try to explain in the next video hope you understood about the stream concept if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments uh, please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you